friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is 6 that is small incision cataract surgery turn the eyeball down with a muscle hook and hold the superior rectus tendon the open forceps presses on the glove and then pinches the superior rectus tendon and then place this superior rectus bridle suture experts will not require this suture but the first year junior residents of ophthalmology should put this suture get working space it also stabilizes the globe and making the tunnel becomes very comfortable we can see this is a hard cataract the pupil has dilated quite well but not fully and the cataract is quite hard nuclear sclerosis is about grade 3 plus or grade 4 and now we have to do conjunctival peritomy the incision is going to be about 8 mm because the cataract is quite hard and you can see there is a thick tenons making a opening in the tenons and doing the peritomy along the posterior part of the limbus Yes. Peritomy is done. Now, Whitefield cautery is to be done. Very mild cautery is done. The assistant puts BSS drop by drop and to a very mild cautery. Just a very mild cautery don't cause any charring of the sclera we can see there is some tenons on the right side and the sclera is not exposed here and this is the sclera is exposed in this way now we have to place the main incision the incision for the main wound of about 7.5 or 8 mm so this is almost straight incision about 1.5 mm behind the limbus and i have started making the tunnel the crescent blade goes about 1.5 mm into the clear cornea and it is swept back from forward to backward in this way so more than half of the tunnel has been done now this is the other part on the right side go anteriorly and come back sideways and now we have to do capsular access this is a side port and now i'm going to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye i usually put an air bubble and beneath this air bubble i inject the dye
yes now the dye is washed out we need not wait for a long time just after 7 8 seconds we can wash the dye out and then the antichamber is filled off with HPMC that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose now rexis is being done in this case with the needle itself inside the capsule raise a flap flip the flap and then guide the flap all around since the cataract is quite hard I'm doing a large rexis going almost along the margin of the people and an adequate sized rexis has been performed and now the tunnel is being opened go to the extreme anterior part and then go into the anterior chamber and now cut when you go forward and this is going to be a self sealing wound no suture will be required now hydro dissection if the nucleus is little small or if the nucleus is soft usually it prolapses by hydro dissection but in this case it didn't prolapse into the anterior chamber by hydro dissection so I have planned to make it prolapse by two instruments a Sinsky hook in my right hand and a chopper in my left the chopper behind the nucleus and the Sinsky hook is in front and it is rotating and it has come out so this is a good technique for prolapse of the nucleus and now in this case I am going to try visco expression I am going to inject visco and let me see if the nucleus comes out or not but I find that it's not coming out though the main wound is quite big about 7.5 to 8 millimeter still it is not coming out so I take a Sinsky hook go through the side port and push the nucleus from behind and it comes out and now the epinucleus and some cortex is there that has to be removed here it is inject some BSS depress the posterior leaf of the main wound and the cortex epinucleus comes out still a lot of cortex is there people has become small but it is not very small we can manage and now this is visco to fill off the AC and the capsular bag and now I'm going to remove the cortex if you fill off the AC with visco you can use the main wound for some time till all the visco doesn't come out and remove lot of cortex 
remove the cortex from the sub side port area first now go through the side port the visco is not there in entry chamber but still since you have gone through the side port the entry chamber is nicely formed and now cortex has been nicely cleaned and an intraocular lens is to be implanted in the capsular bag. This is SPMC filling off the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and now a rigid PMMA intraocular lens is being placed in the capsular bag. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag now with the help of a uh, Macpherson's forceps, the trailing haptic is placed in the capsular bag. Dear colleagues, you must learn SICS. In difficult cases, FECO may not be a good option. In those cases, say in very hard cataract, in those cases, SICS or even ECC with nice sutures are very good options. At this time, I'm removing the visco that has been used for implanting the intraocular lens. And at this time, I'm removing some cortex which I can see at this moment yes and now some more visco is being removed from the superior part yes now the side port is hydrated and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. Anterior chamber is formed. Here it is. The lavage is done. BSS is irrigated thoroughly to the anterior chamber and all the visco comes out and now the simco is placed at the wound in this way and the antechamber is formed nicely that's it and now subconjunctival injection of dexamethasone and gentamicin is given superiorly the brittle suture is removed and now the conjunctiva is opposed to the limbus and as we remove the speculum it will go further forward and no suture is required no cautery also is required that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will give you very necessary tips and tricks to learn SICS and to do SICS in a very confident way. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, compassion and great surgical skills.